Hey there, rock enthusiasts. Welcome back to the Rockumentary channel, where we dive deep into the thrilling world of rock and music. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button to stay updated on all things rock. Now, let's get into today's story that takes us backstage into the chaotic world of Guns N' Roses and their legendary drummer, Matt Sorum. Back in the early 90s, Matt Sorum officially stepped into the spotlight as the drummer for Guns N' Roses. His debut at the Rock in Rio Festival marked the beginning of a long and tumultuous relationship with the band. The fame, the not-so-healthy behaviors, and the appetite for destruction were all too real. In a recent interview, Sorum reflected on that period and shared insights into what might have been done differently. In retrospect, Sorum confessed that things got a bit overwhelming. The band's immense size, the rapid pace, and the multitude of people surrounding them made it challenging to keep everything in check. The intensity of being the biggest band in the world took its toll. Sorum admits, it got scary. As for the vices, Sorum acknowledges his struggles, particularly with alcohol. The rock and roll lifestyle of excess influenced his choices. Sorum explains, I felt compelled to follow that line because we were. I felt like a pirate on a pirate ship. There was this gang mentality among us, and I wanted to be part of it. So, what advice does Matt Sorum have for aspiring musicians hitting the big time? Beware of your ego, he warns. Success can be daunting, and Sorum emphasizes the need to handle it cautiously. In his words, success can be scary, when you are very successful, because things just change. In a surprising revelation, Sorum shared insights into the band's struggles with drugs. Contrary to popular belief, he stated that Axl Rose could be described as the only sober member during certain periods. Slash, on the other hand, assumed a leadership role among the band members, ensuring a balance between the rock and roll lifestyle and professional commitments. Sorum's journey began in Venice Beach, California, playing with local artists before joining the cult and eventually Guns N' Roses. His experiences were marked by highs and lows, from the illusion albums to the chaotic times that defined the band. After leaving Guns N' Roses in 1997, Sorum continued to make waves in the music scene. From Slash's Snake Pit to Velvet Revolver and beyond, his musical journey remains a fascinating chapter in rock history. Today, he continues to rock with projects like Deadland Ritual, Kings of Chaos, and Hollywood Vampires. And there you have it, rock fans. The untold story of Matt Sorum's wild ride with Guns N' Roses. What are your thoughts on his reflections? Drop your comments below, and let's keep the rock conversation alive. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more rockumentaries, and stay tuned for our next deep dive into the legends of rock. Until then, keep rocking on, and we'll catch you in the next episode.